I'm working on this piece here uh, on some um, watercolour pad, a gummed pad and uh, this is the um, template that I've used and I've traced this down into the centre here like that, there's a video um, or you'll find it on my website about how to just trace down images, transfer images so that's there, the download is on my um, Patreon page um, and because I'm using a lung pad I've extended down here and I'm going to extend up the top here as well I'm just using a HB pencil, that's all. And I don't want it too uh, neat and tidy. I just wanted to come up here because my lines were starting to go off. Um, so if you do get this template and you think you're going to use it, um, there's quite a lot of um, jars with different things inside. You don't have to use all of these, you can take some out and put your own in or your own images. Um, those of you that follow some of my uh, videos and also some of my own personal artwork will notice um, some of the motifs, there's the little uh, cup one <laughs> there that I've popped in, my little fish, uh, octopus one, so lots of different things that you've probably seen that I've been um, in other videos and in my artwork. So I'm just going to put some little boxes up here and some more books, so I'm not going to put any more jars. I'm going to work over this uh, bit of mixed media, I think, onto this. sketched out now. Um, Okay, so I've got my extra large uh, drawing sketched out now on my long piece of paper. Um, the one thing that I did start to do was I just started to cut out some little pieces of paper to collage on to uh, my picture. But actually, I'm not totally convinced whether I like those or not. So uh, I've got a a few other little bits and what I'm gonna do is 
I'm just going to put these like right over the top and then sketch on. So we'll do a bit of a mixture, I think, of um, uh, random collage -y pieces and then cut collage pieces and then we'll we'll decide when it's all finished which one I should have really gone for first. <laughs> This is uh, some quite watery PVA. I don't really want this to be on the front um, of the paper, just because I don't really want it um, to give like a little shine or a little resist to the watercolours. So I'm trying to just uh, make sure that I cover the whole of the, the back of the piece rather than um, you know what I might normally do is go over the top again so that it cuts the um, just catches the edges but, uh, yeah I don't want it to to come onto the front and, and mess about with the, the watercolors because I'm going to use watercolors on this There we go. Okay, so so I'm going to work over the top of this, and I've got um, a, a pigment ink here, and you can test it. If you're not sure whether you can watercolor on top of it, you can test it. So, oh, I need a new one of those, don't I? moves around if it bleeds then you know that you won't be able to watercolor on top of it but this doesn't this is a permanent one so as soon as it's down it won't move so I can sketch on here first so, uh, so I can sketch over this or I can come back in and I can sketch later if I want to I'm just gonna have a little sketch over this just so that I don't get confused what the plan was. I probably have already changed it now from what it was. have a good time in it actually but I'll stick with this okay 
So I'm going to just put some different coloured washes on it. Um, it's up to you how you want to work. So you could uh, sketch all over the top of it and then um, you could paint in little details and things. What I find is if I do that, what happens is I start very delicately trying to paint in tiny little bits and I get a little bit obsessive trying to just paint in the colours and things. So I'm going to just try and put some little washes on different sections. What have I got? Sepia. I've got a sap green. Cadmium yellow, uh, what have we got? Rose madder or permanent red violet. Let's go with that red violet. And I've got a Prussian blue. And I've also got a Payne's grey. Okay, I'm going to use my paints grey and some Prussian blue for all in the back here as well. So I really just want to wash over different sections. Um, as I said earlier, I don't want to paint in specific details. Um, although I will do a little bit on some areas but what I want to do is just put washes in of different colours on different sections um, yeah just to, to put a hint of colour into everything um, I think it depends how uh, how it goes to how much colour I'm going to put on here but I'm going to build up uh, different colours on uh, the different jars, the books and things that are in there and, uh, and we'll have a see how it goes. Oh, I can't, I can't help but keep leaning in on this video, can I? I am really sorry. Oh my goodness. Uh, the top of my head. Maybe I should uh, get something interesting done at the top of my head there. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, the, <laughs> it's definitely something that I do when I'm concentrating quite hard. I have to get in really close to whatever I'm drawing or painting. So... Uh, Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I think it's probably going to carry on through the whole video, so uh, bear with me. So, uh, just trying to pop in some more little colours into different areas.
Uh, I'm just working over these um, down the sides of these books just putting a bit of shadow but I'm working it over the paper and because it's not a watercolour paper I'm just being a bit careful here so uh, I'll leave that to try a minute before I come in anymore and just see um, but you can obviously work over your collage paper so you could put way more collage paper in if you want to um, you know the same as you can do a lot more or a lot less watercolour so really play about with it and see what you're interested in do you want more colour collaged areas that you can work over with a pen um, or do you want more uh, no collage at all and just do it all watercolour it's up to you this is a really nice one you could work on in uh, gouache as well um, so have a play about These templates are quite good actually, um, that you could do a couple of different versions um, in different mediums. So you could do like a more collage one, you could do a gouache one, you could do a watercolour one, um, you could try inks, you could just work over in pen, um, you could do a tonal one where you're just sketching. So I'm going to do a background in here and I think I'm going to do it quite dark but first off what I'm going to do I'm just going to wash over all the background to the bookcase area. Um, I'm going to wash over just with water um, so I'm doing a wet on wet wash so I'm introducing this um, blue in um, to the wet wash. Um, just so it sort of spreads evenly. Um, I don't get lots of lines in there if I did it on the dry paper. Um, obviously what happens is because you've wet the paper and there's water there um, on the surface, it's going to dilute the paint that you put on. Um, so just remember that, that when you're working onto um, like a clear water, it's going to dilute your colour again. But I think I'm just going to slowly build this up and I'm going to work up um, into it a couple of times and just let it bleed across. So uh, let's see. That looks okay. Okay, so uh, let's work around the rest um, and see how it goes. around each of those jars now. trying to deepen that that colour of the paint up so it's even darker um, yes I think I could come up here again with much darker as well
Let's get a bit more paint in there. There we go. I don't really want black in here and be really careful about using black whatever you're using whatever medium whether it's um, pencils pens um, uh, watercolors oils anything black is a really deadening color so black is okay I think when you're doing like a a bit of a line drawing over something or under in this case I had a bit of both I'm gonna have a bit of both here um, but yeah when you're blocking in areas that you want really dark be really careful about using black um, it just deadens everything um, if you want something that's really black then mix your own um, take a blue take a red take a green mix them together um, and get yourself a nice sort of um like midnighty blue black or a very sort of uh browny black much nicer colors and then getting something like um like a lamp black um and just squeezing that out and using it too too dark and too too flat a color um it, they really stand out as well against everything that you're painting so just be careful of that um, but I don't really want this black. I just need a, a sort of a deep darkness behind, um, really, so that all the jars pop out. So it, they look like clear, see-through jars. Uh, so that's what I'm going for. Mm. Mm. Sure, I'm going to work on top of this a bit more. I think now, yeah. Uh, Oh, look at the state of my table. I need to get that sorted as well, don't I? I'm getting a new table made. So I'm hoping in a couple of videos time, fingers crossed, uh, you see my new spangly table, which will be very swish. But until now, uh, until then, you're, uh, you're stuck with my, uh, with my spotty mat. I am sorry. sort of halo going around so it's much darker at the top corners yeah let me work this into the other ones as well a bit darker at the, the top of the shells Okay, so I've got that dark up there now. Um, I quite like it. I don't know if I want to go darker or not, actually. Um, uh, so let's put the, the shelves in. I want to mix a, a colour up for the wood of the shelves, but I don't really want it very dark. Um, I just want to tint all the way around. Um, I'm going to work over it with the pen uh, later uh, so I can put that sort of wood grain texture on so I just want a little hint of colour going round and also that will make that dark um, push backwards so if the front of the, the shelves is lighter and then you've got that really dark it'll push it, um, put a bit of depth into the shelves 
Oh, just bled that there. I touched a wet bit. Down. Come back in there in a minute. Let me get this done. Oh, watch out there. Okay, so it's all dry. So I'm going to use my different pens here. So the first one that I've got is this Rotary Ticographic pen, um, which is quite nice. It's a 0.5, and I've got a 0.5 in this grey one, which is a, a uni pin. Um, uh, they're both uh, waterproof and fade proof, so uh, I'm going to go with those. So I'm going to use the grey one here on. Uh, on the shells, um, just on that wood to put the grain in. Um, maybe if I've got a uh, sepia one, I could have used that. I've got a grey one there. So I'm just put, trying to put that wood grain effect in. So really, this is a great one if you're not very good at straight lines. Nice wobbly lines going up and down are just what you need. Anywhere where you miss a bit, uh, you can put a little knot in <laughs> if you start to stray from your lines. some little bits there need work on so let's come in 
So I'm going to swap to the, the black pen here. Sorry, I should just said that, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm swapping over to my black pen now, just so that it's a, a darker colour and you can see it. There you go. It's much better, isn't it? Um, I've got to have a little think. I want some of these jars to look like glass. So um, do I want to go over everything? Mm, don't think so. So I don't want to outline everything. So this is something to really think about if you're doing it this way, where you're putting a wash in and then you're drawing over, that you might not have to actually like draw a line around every single thing. Um, uh, it's quite nice having the slightly different coloured pens as well, having the grey or whatever you can swap about between them. Um, and uh, hopefully I can get a little bit of a feel like the sort of lighter grey ones are a bit more glass, a bit more clear. Let's see, I've got my little mouse here so I don't want that to be really dark, I want that to look like it's inside. drawing aren't I? I need to stop myself in a second. No I just can't. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Touch of colour in there. Hmm. That's better. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's a bit better. Back to our fish. Let's get a bit of an outline on our fish as well, just to define the shape. I love this fish shape. Uh, I've used it a few times. Uh, uh, I've used it on a, a Tetra Pack um, print that I've made. Um, so, uh, and that should be coming out soon. So if you're interested in that, keep your eye out. Uh, I take you through the whole process of the Tetra Pak printing.
still can't decide how much I'm doing on this, can I? Let's separate these books out a little bit. Right in and look at this here. <laughs> tiny, tiny bits now. I should know that I'm doing too much now, shouldn't I? Because I'm leaning right in trying to get little fiddly little bits. indecision if I'd have actually taken a little bit of time and planned this out and thought about it let this be a lesson to you all think through what your what your plan is a bit more <laughs> So uh, the lids of the jaws and things. One more bit, just one more bit. my own fault that is because I left that just sitting on the side there for so long. Okay. Let's get some fresh out there. There we go.
showing on that. I see one that I've missed off already. There we go. Okay, oh, sorry, cleaning right across. So now what I'm going to do because I had the um, the pencil on there when I um, traced it down, I'm just going to rub all the way around and just clean off anything where I've got a bit of a smudge. Anywhere in here where I kind of sketch with a pencil and then I might miss the lines off or anything. So get all of those little marks out. There we go, and now, done, 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 done. Uh, I've got all my little things in, I've got all my little uh, effects on there, got some little collage in, um, finished. So give it a go. Uh, and uh, don't forget, if you give it a go and, uh, and you produce something great, or if you produce something awful, that's just as good, um, then take a photo and post it on the student chat room and uh, so we can all see what you were up to. Lovely. And uh, have a look out. I've got some other um, little um, templates of different things. Um, so have a look around my website and see if you can find those. See you on the next video.